In this problem, we're told children in a treehouse lift a small dog in a basket 3.85 meters up to their house. If it takes 201 joules of work to do this, what is the combined mass of the dog in the basket? So as usual, you want to draw what's going on. So we have this person, and they're going to be lifting up this dog in this basket 3.85 meters. And we know the total amount of work that this is going to take. So the work is going to be equal to 201 joules. So what we're trying to find is the combined mass of the dog in the basket. So we're trying to find a mass of uh, this right here. So we're going to say mass equals question mark because that's what we're trying to find. And so the way we're going to solve this is by using the formula for work, which is or work equals force, so the force applied, times the distance, times the cosine of theta. So this is the formula we're going to use to solve. And so keep in mind what we're trying to find. Uh, we're trying to find mass. And so what you need to know, uh, know about this problem is that the force that the, is going to be uh, used for the work is going to be the force due to gravity, which is just going to be mg, right? Because they're going to have to overcome this force if they want to be able to push it up. So f in this case is just going to be uh, mg. So really the work is going to be equal to the mass times the gravity times the distance times the cosine of theta. And so what you should notice is we're given the amount of work that this is going to take. It's going to take 201 joules. We know what g is. It's just going to be 9.8, right? The acceleration due to gravity. We know the distance they're going to try and pull it up. And then the cosine of theta, in this case, what theta is, it's uh, the distance between uh, where, it's the basically the angle between where it's going and where the force is being applied. So in this case, they're going to be pulling a force like this, right? Some tension force. But we know it's going to be equal to mg. So the force is going to be going up like this. And then... Uh, they're also traveling this way. So in this case, the angle between the two, they're just on top of each other, so it's zero. So in this case, theta is just going to be zero, and the cosine of zero is just one. So in this case, the work is going to be equal just to mg times uh, the distance. And so if we want to just solve for the mass, all we have to do is divide by uh, gravity times the distance, and you're going to get that the mass is equal to the total work done divided by gravity times distance. And keep in mind, we know all these numbers. We know the total work it's going to take is 201 joules, so 201 joules, we know g is just going to be 9.8, and then the distance is 3.85 meters. So 201 divided by 9.8 times 3.85. And so when you do this, you're going to get the mass is equal to 5.327, and then we measure this in kilograms. So 